Oh, look, a squirrel. You can't trick me like that. No, Ben, there really is a squirrel. <gasps> a squirrel! Easy now, Ben Elf. What's wrong? It's just a squirrel. Just ignore the squirrel, Princess Holly. Ah, look, he's picking up an acorn. Sound the acorn alarm, Mr Elf. What's going on? It might be Acorn Day. What's Acorn Day? Not now, Princess Holly. Calling all elves! Acorn Day has begun! Don't panic! Please leave the elf tree immediately! It's probably a false alarm. Yes, hopefully it's just a practice. There he goes! Mrs Elf! Mrs Elf! Hello! Oh! Oh! Don't panic, Mrs Elf! Just hand it back! Get out of there, Mrs Elf. Quickly. Will somebody please tell me what's going on? One day every year the squirrels come and store their acorns in the great elf tree. We call that day Acorn Day. What's so bad about squirrels storing acorns? Yes, they need to store their food for winter. And it's just an acorn. One acorn would be OK. But there are many squirrels and they have many acorns. Oh, I'm sorry. I couldn't stop him, wise old elf. It's not your fault, Mrs Elf. There is no stopping them once they've started. What? Oh, it's so pretty. Look! Where? What is it? It's Redbeard's boat! By Neptune, you're right! Well spotted, Ben! Oh, for a moment I thought you'd seen Big Bad Barry. Ho-ho! <laughs> now I can get me treasure back! Let's get it and go. I don't like it down here. I love it. All the fish and the flowers and that big underwater cloud. You don't get underwater clouds, me hearty. Shiver me timbers! It's a fish! It's so big! It looks bad. Is it Barry? It is. It's big, bad. Barry. He's swimming towards Redbeard's boat. Oh dear, he's going to eat it. No! Me treasure! <laughs> Did you see that? He swallowed it whole, like it were a grape. Oh, what a shame. Shall we go home then? Go home? But we haven't got me treasure! Well, we can't do much about that now. I never thought I'd say it, but Nanny Plum is right. Unless you want to sail into Barry's stomach and take your treasure back, this adventure is over. You're right, me fruity pancake. Mm. Take us home, Mr. Ralph. Aye, aye, Captain Redbeard. Uh, who turned out the lights? It's all gone dark. Where are we? Oh, we must have sailed into a cave. Mr. Elf was chatting instead of looking where he was going. I was parked. Well, we're somewhere strange, and no mistake. And I'll shave me beard off if there's not something fishy going on. Turn on the lights, Mr. Elf. Aye, aye, Captain. It smells fishy! And here's a present. It's not a birthday present, is it? No, King Thistle. Are you sure? Sure. A toy robot. Thank you, Ben. I made it myself. And here's your cake. It's not a birthday cake, is it? Absolutely not. This is just an ordinary cake. The taste is completely different. Oh, good. <laughs> Delicious. Hmm. <laughs> Cards, presents, cake. And this is nothing to do with my birthday? No. Well, I suppose it's not really a birthday then. As long as the elf band doesn't turn up. There's one more surprise, Daddy. 
Oh, I love surprises. You have to close your eyes. OK. You can open your eyes now. Surprise! I said no birthday party. It's not a birthday party, darling. It's just a surprise party. Oh, well then, I suppose... Happy birth... <gasps> I mean congratulations, Your Majesty, on being such an excellent king. Well done. Oh, thank you. And now for the giant firework. It's as big as a carrot. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I love fireworks. And now, Your Majesty, the elf band will sing a special song in your honour. Oompa, oompa. <laughs> Are these Father Christmas's slippers? Yes, they are. Wow! His feet are bigger than all of us. I think Gaston is thawing out. Well, well. Gaston's back! <laughs> Box 571 delivered. Oh, thank you, little brother. It would be simply spiffing if next year you made the last toy delivery before Christmas Eve. What? At least I make toys. You just wrap them up. Ah, but wrapping toys is the important bit. You have to be as old and wise as me to understand that. You're no wiser than me. But I am, by three minutes. And I always will be. Ahem. Talking of wrapping presents, shouldn't somebody be doing that by now? It's Christmas Eve. Goodness me, you're right. To the present wrapping machines. That's the last of this year's presents wrapped. Time for a holiday. Hurrah! Uh, we've just brought one more box of toys to wrap. Sorry to end your holiday. That's OK. Arctic elves love wrapping presents, and we're... Oh, no! Arctic elves! We brought you toy robots, dolls, space rockets and cars. Not bad. You've done a good job, brother. Oh, thank you, brother. When the presents are wrapped up, who delivers them? Ho, ho, ho! I deliver them, of course. Father Christmas! Call me Santa. I hear you're in a spot of bother. Yes, we need some help getting home. I've got some work to do tonight. Africa zobbity zobbity zee. Hooray! For you, I'm glad that's over. You see, girls? It's easy. Anyone can do it. OK. Can I have another go? No. If anyone can do it, I want to go. Oh, all right. Holly, give Ben your wand. But, but, elves don't do magic. I'd like to give magic a go, just this once. That's the spirit, Ben. Uh, into frogs, abracazobody. Phew. For a moment, I thought Ben was going to turn us into frogs. Abracazobody? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's no good. Elves don't do magic. Hmm. Maybe you just need a teeny tiny bit of magical help. Tricky trick trick. This young elf do magic. There. Have another go, Ben. Into frogs. Abracazobody. <laughs> hey, it worked. <laughs> Into birds, Zabadi Z. And into rabbits, Abraka Zabadi. There, all finished. Very good, Ben. But haven't you forgotten something? Uh, what? You need to turn them back into girls again. <laughs> Do I? Oh, OK then. Abraka Zabadi Zabadi Z. Well done.
done, Ben. Did you two follow that? Uh, yes, Nanny. I think so. Good. Anyone else want to try? Yes, please. Can I have a go? No. no. How about a game of football? Yes, yes football. And the... What are we going to do? We need to get help. Let's call my mum. She'll know what to do. Good thinking, Ben. <laughs> this is heavy. All together, push. Hello, Mrs Elf speaking. Mum, it's me, Ben. Oh, Ben, you sound different. Yes, we need a bit of help. Please come quick. Right-o. She's on her way. Thank goodness. I wonder what the matter can be. <laughs> Baby Plum is lots of fun. Bath me, please. <laughs> Hello, Daisy. Hello, Poppy. Can you tell me where the big children are? We're down here. <gasps> Daisy and Poppy put a spell on us. And we need a bit of help. Your Majesty. <laughs> we do seem to have got ourselves in a bit of a pickle. Uh, yes, the twins are a little high-spirited today. Could you calm them down, please? Of course. Now, now, Daisy and Poppy. I'm sure you're not meant to fly so high. <laughs> fly so high. Fly so high. <laughs> Now, girls, put me down this instant. Poor Mrs Elf. Elves don't like flying. Looks like we need even more help. What do you think the last thing is? I bet it's frogs. Nanny always shows us frogs. Yes, it'll be frogs. Who can guess what we're going to see next? <sighs> Frogs. Yes. We're going to look at frogs. Um, uh, there aren't any frogs here. Not one frog. Well, that's disappointing. Can we go home now? It's no problem. I'll turn one of us into a frog. Can I have a volunteer, please? Come on. Who wants to be a frog? Goodness. What a lot of miseries. I'll just have to do it myself. Zigzag zog. Make me into a frog! Wow! <laughs> a common frog. Look how slimy it is. <laughs> and how smelly it is. Oh, stinky whippy poo! And how silly it sounds. Well, that brings today's nature class to a most satisfactory close. Uh, uh, Nanny Plum, you can turn yourself back now. I don't think Nanny Plum can turn herself back again. She can't pick up her wand. Oh, what a shame. Now, for your homework... But Nanny Plum, we can't leave her as a frog. Oh, can't we? Oh, I suppose not. Uh, which fairy wants to turn her back again? Me, me, me! All right. Holly, do your best. Um, I'm not sure what spell to use. I'm sure Nanny Plum would want you to just have a go anyway. Hi, Ben. Hi, Gaston. Hi, Holly. Oh. Oh, no! Pippin's run away! Oh, um, how sad! How terribly sad! Pippin! Pippin! We've lost Pippin! What a dreadful turn of events! Pippin's gone! Gone forever! Wait, King Thistle! I can get your hamster back! Ah, uh, 
Don't trouble yourself, Ben. It's no trouble. Elves are good at rounding up hamsters, and I'm an elf. <coughs> Ready, Gaston? <coughs> 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 Pippin's back, King Thistle. Safe and sound. Ah, uh, thank you, Ben. <laughs> Let's close the cage door before Pippin escapes again. <laughs> Does it ever go to sleep? Uh, maybe when it's tired. And how do we make it tired? Let's ask the wise old elf. He knows everything. Hello? Wise old elf speaking. How do you make a hamster tired? Hamster? Oof. The king's pet hamster. We need to make it tired. Ah, I see. What you need is a wheel. A wheel? How will that help? Wait and see. I'll be right over. Hello, King Thistle. Where's this hamster of yours? My hamster? Here's Pippin. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Pippin likes you. No oh, charmed, I'm sure. We can take off our seatbelts. Whoa! I'm flying! That's because there's no gravity in space. I'm flapping my wings, but they don't do anything. Yes, your wings won't work in zero gravity. Are you sure there isn't a toilet? What's through this door? No! Don't open that door! Hang on! What happened? When you open a door in space, it sucks all the air out of the rocket. Poor Nanny Plum. She's floating away. We can hear you through the radio, Nanny Plum. You don't need to shout. Just stay calm. Stay calm? I'm floating off into deep space. Elf Rocket, this is Mission Control. What's going on up there? Nanny Plum opened the door and is now lost in space. Oh, dear. That's a shame. Well, never mind. On with the mission. No, we have to rescue Nanny Plum. Oh, I suppose we must. I'll rescue Nanny. Me too. <coughs> all right. You're all tied to this rope so you won't drift away. Are you ready? Ready. <coughs> We're coming, Nanny Plum. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on to what? Oh, no. We can't reach Nanny Plum. Mr Elf, the rope isn't long enough. Oh, no. Lost in space. And I never even went to the toilet. Here's your lasso, Ben. Thanks, Dad. Keep still. I'm going to throw this lasso around your waist. Got you. Wahey! You rescued Nanny Plum. Oh, thank you, Ben. Oh, thank you, everyone, for rescuing me. Hi, Ollie. Hi, Strawberry. Do you want to play football? We can't. We have to do wand practice. Up and down. Up and down. Aren't you supposed to be gentle with your wands? It's OK. Wands are very strong. You don't want to break them. Don't be silly. They never break. Show him, Holly. Hit your wand on that rock. OK. <gasps> oh, dear. Holly, Strawberry, how's wand practice going? Uh, not very well. Holly's broken her wand. How did that happen? I was waving it very gently and she bashed it on a rock. That wasn't very clever. Sorry, Nanny. Not to worry. We'll just get it mended. Hooray! Are you going to mend it with magic, Nanny? Oh, no. I can't mend it. Why not? Wands make magic, but magic can't make wands. It's like chickens and eggs. Chickens make eggs, but eggs don't make chickens. 
But eggs do make chickens. Whatever. The important thing is, I can't mend wands by magic. So, who can mend it? The elves that made it. Elves? Do elves make wands? Of course they do. Everyone knows that. Elves are very good at making wands. And we're elves. <laughs> <laughs> to the elf factory. Look, Nanny, wands are magic. And elves don't do magic. Elves don't use the wands, Holly. They just make them. Good morning. Can I help you? Um, I... Here are some more. OK, that's enough sticks. <laughs> oh. Hello there. A gnome. Mind if I join you? Uh, well... Thank you. I'll only stay for a week or two. Oh, no. But... We had an orange. Yes. I wouldn't have found you if it weren't for the smell of this orange. But gnomes hate oranges. Normally, yes. But I'm on a balanced diet, you see. If I eat ten pies and twenty steam puddings, I need to balance that by eating fruit. <sighs> Let's make a fire. How do you make a fire, Mr Elf? Rub two sticks together really fast, like this. <sighs> you have to rub the sticks a little bit faster. <sighs> Would you like to hear the interesting thing I know about sticks? <sighs> sticks grow on trees. Amazing, isn't it? <laughs> Ooh. Ooh! I'm nice and warm now. That's because fire is hot. <laughs> <sighs> I'm hungry. Me too. What a surprise. I've hardly eaten anything today. I've only had ten pies, a skip full of chips, 30 apple tarts. Wow! That's a lot. A sponge cake, 100 sausages and that orange. I thought you said you were on a diet. Oh, I am. There are some things I don't eat, like stones, wood and television sets. But nobody eats those things. What? You're on this diet too? I never knew it was so popular. <laughs> Why does she need to cook modern food? It's what King and Queen Marigold like, and they're coming to dinner tonight. What Nanny needs is a cookbook. Come on. Wait for me. Where are we going? The Great Elf Library. Ooh. Excuse me, wise old elf. Shush. This is a library. Sorry. We need a book of modern cooking for Nanny Plum. But Nanny Plum is an excellent cook. Yes, she's the best cook in the whole world. But she can't do modern cooking. Hmm. Let's see. The Elf Book of Pies, The World of Spaghetti and Mash, A Complete History of Egg Sandwiches. Is there anything modern? Uh, what exactly is modern cooking, Princess Holly? It is food that's very delicate and special, and not porridge. Oh. Wait a minute. This doesn't look like an elf book. That's because I'm not. Ah, a magical fairy book. What's that doing in my elf library? There are no words in the book. I am a magical cookery book. Where are all your recipes? Oh, if you tell me what you want to cook, I will tell you how to cook it. We want to cook a special modern meal, please. How modern? Uh, very modern. Certainly. You will need the following ingredients. Potato, carrot, onion, peas and cheese. That doesn't sound very special. Shush, I am thinking. Voila! One recipe for a very modern meal. <gasps> it's 
smashing the tree. It's made a hole. It's got inside. Oh, it's not in my flat. Phew, it's not in my flat. Ah, our door's stuck. Here, son, let me try. I believe we have found the bird. Everybody, keep calm and don't panic. Ah! Ah! Everybody out! Run for your lives! Ah! Hello, Ben. Hello, Holly. We've got a bird in our tree. Yes, I saw it first. It's a woodpecker. That's correct. I didn't realise your Majesty was interested in birds. Oh, yes. I'm a bird spotter. Here's my badge. Then it's very good you turned up. We need all the help we can get. Take me to the bird. Oh, thank goodness you're here, Your Majesty. The woodpecker is in our home. It's building a nest. And soon there'll be eggs. And when they hatch, there'll be baby woodpecker chicks. And baby woodpecker chicks are extremely rare to spot. Fantastic. When they hatch, I can come back and tick them off in my book. It's got to go now, before it lays its eggs. It can't go. I want to spot the chicks. This tree is for elves, not for woodpeckers. No nesting creature shall be disturbed. That's the law. Is it? Uh, it is now. <laughs> By royal command. Oh, it's in writing. We'll have to obey it. Elves never break the law. And, and we're, we're elves. elves. We can still build sandcastles. Yes. <laughs> Feeling good. No, don't start digging up the moon. You'll upset the aliens. <laughs> Look, the aliens love building sandcastles. I'm a bit hungry. Me too. Time for the picnic. No! Magic basket, please. Ah, magic! Nanny Palum, are you waving your magic wand around? I haven't got my wand. Remember, it wasn't allowed on your silly elf mission. Ah, yes. Anyway, the magic picnic basket doesn't need a wand to work. You just ask it for what you want. Magic basket, please. Make us sandwiches with ham and cheese. Yippee! Hooray! And now for pudding. Magic jelly! Magic jelly! Uh, Nanny Plum, we don't want another jelly flood. Oh, it'll be fine. Nanny Plum, I want you to think very carefully about what you are doing. Whatever. Magic basket, please. Jelly, jelly! What's it doing? Oh, no! I forgot to say, not a lot. Ah! Jelly blood! Nanny! That's too much jelly! Oh, dear. Oh, jelly blood! What's happening? Yeah. Nanny Plum has flooded the Sea of Tranquility with jelly. <gasps> Nanny Plum! All the maps of the moon will have to be changed. The Sea of Tranquility is now the sea. But why do you want all this stuff? We use it to make toys. Wow, I love toys. But what do you do with all the smelly stuff? It makes lovely compost for the elf farm. Back to the elf tree! Let's get these down to the elf factory without delay. Wow! Look at that tree. There are little windows in it. I wonder if there are any fairies inside. Ah! It's all right, Mum. It's just our friend Lucy. Oh, uh, uh, nice to meet you, Lucy. Hello. 
Here's a little present to remind you of your visit. It's our latest toy, fresh from the factory. Wow, thanks. Is this made from my rubbish? Yes, that's why we're very grateful to you for putting rubbish in the Great Elf Tower. What's the Great Elf Tower? He means the litter bin. You're welcome. Thanks for showing me your tree. I always thought fairies lived in castles. For the last time, we are not fairies. We're elves! <laughs> in a castle, Lucy. Come and see! Wow! A real fairy castle! <laughs> it's OK, Daddy. It's only Lucy, the little girl. <clears throat> Hello, Lucy. How do you do? Oh, another little elf. I'm not an elf. I'm a fairy king. Nice to meet you, Your Majesty. <laughs> Lucy! Home time. Oh, I have to go now. Thanks for leaving all the stuff in the bin. We know the wise old elf. <gasps> you know the wise old elf? What's he like? He's wise. He's old. He's... He's a grumpy old elf that's a bit clever. This is my favourite toy. A clockwork fairy. Ground ride. But sadly, it's broken. Don't worry, I can mend it. I don't think so. It needs to be seen by an expert. Elves are experts, and I'm an elf. <laughs> <laughs> and I can help you, Ben. Rawr! Don't touch! These toys must not be touched by children. We'll have to touch it to mend it. Um, okay. There, it's mended. Then I... Um, was it a good idea putting the toddlers in the library? What? It's the same room you put all the wands in. Ah. <laughs> Don't worry. The great wizardo will sort this out. I'll show them my mouse trick. That will surprise them. They'll be surprised how bad it is. So it might work. Look, children. I've turned myself into a... Mousy mousy. Wow, that's not a bad costume. Uh, the toddlers have magic the wise old elf into a real mouse. Squeak! Can someone please magic me back into an elf? No, we can't do any magic because somebody put all the wands in the library. Ah, uh, yes. Squeak! Ahoy, me hearties! I'm here to pick up my niece, Meryl. Oh, <laughs> Actually, the party's not quite over yet. <laughs> no? The toddlers are in the library with the dangerous spell books. They've got all the magic wands. And they've magic the wise old elf into a mouse. Squeak! Sounds like a fun party. Oh, no. It's gone quiet. They're up to something. Let's take a look. Hello? Hello? There's no one here. Just our wands. Oh, it's good to have you back again. Uh, Nanny, now you have your wand again, would you mind, um... Of course, oh great wizardo. Silly old elf, back to yourself. Oh! 
So where be the poor little toddlers? I was afraid of this. Daisy and Poppy have found the secret passageway. Ooh. Where does the secret passageway go? To the secret room. I never knew we had a secret room. That's because it's secret. Now Daddy's taken Nanny Plum's wand. She won't be able to magic any snow. Now we won't have any snow for Christmas. There's always a chance it might snow anyway. I can hear something. Is it snow? No, it's the elf plane. Dad's back from the North Pole. <laughs> ah, that's the last delivery done. Dad, did you see snow? Yes, lots of it. Enough snow to last me a lifetime. Now you've finished your work, Mr Elf. Are you on holiday? Holiday? Good gracious, no. It's Christmas Eve. There's work to be done preparing tonight's Elf and Fairy Feast. Oh, yes, the Midnight Elf and Fairy Feast. On Christmas Eve. With music and singing and lanterns. Yes, and those lanterns don't hang themselves up to work. Stop, Mr Elf. It's about time you had a rest. A rest? You've been working hard all year. Just sit down and relax for five minutes. I can give you three. You work too hard. Elves like working hard. And I'm an elf. <gasps> Oh, dear, you really must relax. Just say, I'm on holiday. Well, all right. I'm on holiday. Ah, that's nice. Hello, wise old elf speaking. Ho, ho, ho. It's Father Christmas here. Oh, Mr. Christmas. We seem to be missing some toys. What did you do that for? I was trying to help you win. I was winning. It was your shouting that made me lose. Sorry, Ben. Not to worry. Maybe there's some other little game you can have a go at. Will all competitors please get ready for the next event? The high jump. You're very good at jumping, Ben. You'll easily win. I hope so. I hope so too. There's nothing worse than a grumpy elf. The first competitor is Lizzie Elf. <gasps> now, for last year's high jump champion, Ben Elf. Good luck, Ben. Yes, you can do it. Hoopla! Hooray! Phew, I didn't think he was going to do it. Another excellent jump. Now, for our final competitor, Barnaby Elf. <gasps> Bad luck, Barnaby. We're down to the last two for the high jump trophy. I hope Ben doesn't knock the pole off. As long as they don't put it up any higher, I'm sure he'll be fine. Oh, dear. Lizzie Elf. Come on, Lizzie. Jump high. <gasps> <gasps> now, Ben Elf. If he loses, he's going to be really upset. Don't worry. We'll give him a little bit of magical help. But, Nanny, magic isn't allowed. Relax. No one will notice. Are you sure no one will notice, Nanny? Trust me. Sand. Nanny Plum is sinking into the ground. Uh, Ben, I'm ready to be rescued now. Fantastic! 
Giddy up, Gaston! Giddy up, giddy up! Keep still, Nanny Club. I'm going to throw this lasso round your waist. She's too heavy! Gaston, pull harder! Woo! Hooray! Ooh, Nanny Plum, you smell horrible. Well, at least no one else was here to see all that. My goodness, is that you, Nanny Plum? Uh, yes, Queen Thistle. I'm just teaching the children a few fairy rules. Excellent. And what fairy rules are you teaching? Rule one. Fairies must always look nice. Hair lovely, clothes stylish, skin beautifully clean. Uh, yes. I've been showing the children what not to do. Rule two. Fairies must never, ever be without their wands. Uh, yes, yes, Strawberry. King Thistle doesn't want to know all the little details. Quite right. You seem to have everything under control, Nanny Plum. Please carry on. Thank you, Your Royal Mouth. Did you notice that Nanny Plum seemed a bit smelly? I thought it was the ladybird. Now, where was I? You had just shouted, Woo! Uff! That's the sound you made as you landed in the mud. Uff! Thank you, Strawberry. Actually, that brings today's lesson to a close. That was a brilliant lesson, especially the adventure bits. I'm pleased. <laughs> <laughs> Nanny, why did Mummy say being a tooth fairy was dangerous? There are lots of things you need to be careful of when you're flying at night. Like what? <laughs> ah! Cobwebs, for instance. Good evening, Madam Spider. Sorry for damaging your web, but the young elf isn't very experienced at night flying. Oh. You. Bye. Oh. Thanks, Nanny Plum. Nanny, what else do we have to look out for? Ah. Windows. Where did that come from? Well done, Holly. You found the little girl's house. And that's the little girl. She doesn't look very little. Wow! Look at that big girl! Shush! She's also got big ears to hear us with. So be very quiet. Follow me. <gasps> She's very pretty. Not too close, Princess Holly. <gasps> Her breath is pulling me in. Beat your wings! <laughs> As I said, we must be very careful. This is the tricky bit. I have to get the tooth from under the pillow without waking the little girl. How? <clears throat> Gently pillow up, up, up. Wow! There it is. <laughs> It's stuck. One, two, three, pull! Oh, thanks, Ben. That's what I call a big baby tooth. What about the coin, Nanny? Here it is. Oh, no. What's wrong? Oh, the little girl's written us a letter. What a nuisance. Your instruments don't just sound funny. They look funny too. They've got funny names as well. This is called a thrump warbler. <laughs> That's the spal throttle. <laughs> and this is the blotto horn. <laughs> Delightful. They all sound silly. <laughs> ah, that's because you don't have sensitive elf hearing. Oompa! Right! Enough of that! Princess Holly, could you remind us what your tune sounded like, please? I don't suppose you lot can read music. Well, I haven't seen this particular piece before. 
You played that perfectly. Perfect for you, maybe, but it's not elf music. Elf music has oompa oompa, like this. Oompa 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 Remember, you are playing for King and Queen Marigold, and they are very snooty. We like umpa music, but King and Queen Marigold don't. Quite. So play Holly's tune, please. <laughs> Uh, Holly, do the elf band sound any better? Yes, Daddy. They... <laughs> I think she feels a bit left out. <laughs> I know how to cheer her up. Oh, good. Go on then, Ben. <laughs> Don't be sad, Betty. Flying isn't everything. Elves can't fly. And I'm an elf. <laughs> that didn't cheer her up much. <laughs> Maybe I can make her fly by magic. Can you do that? Um, I think so. Abracadabra, fly, Betty, fly. <laughs> wow, it worked. <laughs> that to happen? We need to rescue her! I could do another spell! No, no! I've got a better idea! <laughs> Yahoo! Whoa! Steady, Betty! Whoa, whoa! <gasps> That's better! Brilliant! <laughs> Hello, Holly. Oh, hello, Daddy. Whoa! What on earth is going on? Uh, Ben's in a spot of bother. Whoa! Help! Ah, I see. Help! Help! Liberty flop! Stop! 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 What were you doing to that poor creature? We were just trying to help her. Betty's sad that she can't fly. I see. Well, you needn't worry. She'll be flying soon enough on her own. Huh? Ben! Come up here! Quick! OK. <laughs> Hi, Holly. Queen Holly to you. What? Mummy and Daddy have gone on a trip today and left me in charge of the whole kingdom. Wow! So I'm Queen Holly. Hello. Hello, Nanny Plum. I've come to collect Ben Elf. It's time for school. OK, I'll just... Nanny, send the wise old elf up. I'll sort this out. Very well, Your Majesty. Enter. Hello, Princess Holly. I'm not Princess Holly. I am Queen Holly today. I've got no time for these fun and games. I've come to collect Ben for school. Oh. Wait, Ben. Mummy and Daddy are away today, so I am in charge of the whole kingdom. Is this true, Nanny Plum? I'm afraid so. And I have just decided that Ben does not have to go to school today. It's the law. Well, this is most unusual. In fact, there'll be no school for anyone today. No school for anyone? Yes, it's the law. Because I am Queen Holly. Um, as you wish, Queen Holly. 
<laughs> oh, dear. The children will be most upset when they hear the news. Children, I'm afraid Queen Holly has informed me there will be no school. Hi, Ben. Hi, Ollie. Food delivery. At last, Mr. Alf. King Thistle is waiting for his breakfast. Well, today we've got mushrooms, tomatoes, baked beans and, of course, eggs. That should make a splendid King's breakfast. Yes, yes, thank you, Mr Elf. But the only thing I need today is flour. Flour? Yes, flour for making bread. The King wants bread. No problem. We'll pick up a bag of flour from the Elf windmill. Thank you, Mr. Elf. Let's see. We should be able to deliver it next week. Next week? But I need flour today. Ah, you know what they say? You can't rush the Elf windmill. Hmm. Maybe I should visit this Elf windmill. Of course, Nanny Plum. We can take you if you like. The windmill sounds fun. Can I come too? Of course. Hop aboard, Princess Holly. <laughs> Hello, Ben. Hello, Holly. Hello, wise old elf. Ah, Nanny Plum. Hi there. Can I have a bag of flour, please? Certainly. We should have a bag of flour ready in a week. But I need it now. Ho, oh, ho. You know what they say. You can't rush the elf windmill. Why not? There. One piano to deliver to the king. Ben, are you ready? Coming, Dad. Come on, Ben. We've got this piano to deliver to the little castle. I don't want to be late. That's right, Ben. Elves are never late. And, and we're, we're elves. elves. Oh, where's my horn? Ben, you must look after your things. A good elf never loses their things. Oh, where's my piano gone? What's happening? Ah! Ants! Oi! That's our TV! Why are the ants taking all our stuff? I don't know! Ants! Outrageous! Nanny Plum! Do something! OK. Let's follow them. Where are the ants taking our things? Probably to the Queen Ant. Queen Ant? Is she pretty like Mummy? Uh... Does she have lovely dresses and a sparkly crown? No. The Queen Ant is a different sort of queen. Oh. my horn. There's my wand. Oi! That's our TV. The ants are taking all our things. Yes, and ours too. Where are they taking it? Down to the Queen Ant. Nanny, I command you to have a word with this Queen Ant. What word would that be, Your Majesty? Uh, tell her to stop taking our stuff. Hmm, that's confusing. Roses are large. And the sky is big. But how do you mix them together? It can't be done. It's silly. That's why it's a riddle, me lovely. It's a puzzle you have to solve. The roses are red and the sky is blue. Mix them together.
together and you get purple. It must be buried under the purple flower. Aha! Very good! Very clever! Come on, Ben. Let's dig for the treasure. Yes, elves are very good at digging. And we're elves. Dig ho, dig, dig ho, dig, 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 dig. Dig ho, dig, dig ho, dig, dig. Oh, what's that? It's another map. That's right. You can't just find the treasure with one clue. Why not? That wouldn't be fun, me little mermaid. Ugh. The X is marked on Gaston's cave. Let's go there. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Gaston. <laughs> we think there might be some pirate treasure in your cave. <laughs> Ah, I used to live here myself many moons ago. Probably before you were even born, Gaston. <laughs> I like what you've done with the place, Gaston. <laughs> Mr. Redbeard, what does the riddle say? Aye, the riddle. I'm easily spotted, and where I lay, you'll find the clue to show you the way. Easily spotted? What's that? <laughs> Gaston has spots on his back. Good morning, Ben. Are you coming out to play, Holly? I'm a bit busy, Ben. I'm playing with my frogs. Frogs? <laughs> this one's very good at running and jumping. I've called him Ben. Oh. See you later. OK. Bye! Oh. Do something about these frogs, please, Nanny Plum. Mm. They do seem to be getting bigger and noisier. If they're smaller, perhaps they'll be quieter. Slimy eaters of flies shrink to half your size. Oh, they're smaller, but somehow I seem to have made more of them. Shall I try the spell again? Ah, uh, maybe not. Froggy, froggy. Frogs belong in water. Yes, Daddy. Daddy says frogs belong in water, so let's magic the courtyard into a paddling pool. Hmm, we won't be needing that door. Bye-bye, door. Good. Now we can fill the courtyard with water. Water, water, splish, splash, splosh. <laughs> there you go, froggies. A paddling pool. Daddy will be pleased. That's odd. Where's the door gone? It was there earlier. No problem. I'll magic it back. Oh, no. Sorry, Froggies. Holly Thistle, did you do this? Yes. Daddy, you said the frogs needed water, so I made them a paddling pool. So where do cows live? On the big farm. Can we go to the big farm? I want to see some cows. No, no, no. The big farm is far too dangerous for elves and fairies to visit. Really wise old elf. You are making a fuss. And what would a fairy know about animals? Fairies love animals, don't we, girls? Mm. Especially fluffy little kittens. Aww. Mm. The big farm is full of big animals and big people with big feet. I've been to the big farm and it was fine. Who wants to go? <laughs> Righty-ho. Come along, children. Hooray! Uh, <clears throat> yes, uh, today we'll be going to the big farm to learn about cows. <coughs> oh, I'm not sure if the ladybird should come with us. Please, wise old elf. Oh, very well. As long as he behaves himself. <laughs> <laughs> Gaston likes 
Merci. Mm, charmed, I'm sure. Here we are, the big farm. Watch out for the cattle grades. What? <laughs> uh -huh. Now, remember everyone, big people have very big feet and you never know where they're going to step. With luck, we won't meet any big people. But if we do, please keep calm. No panicking. Wise old elf, is that one of the big people? Eh? Ah! Big people! Ah! Ooh, a little toy bus. <laughs> Look! <laughs> it's him! It's Big Bad Buddy! What a fish! We'll be eating him for weeks! He's got the cheese! <laughs> Start the engine! Full sail! We're not going anywhere! Yes, we are! Bad Barry is pulling us backwards! Hang on! We've got him! We've got him! I think he's got us, Daddy. Holly's right! We should never have tried to catch Bad Barry! He's too big! He's too bad! We have to let him go! Never! Aha! He's given up! I don't think so. He's eating the lime! Ah! Uh, then he can have it. I give in. Sorry we tried to catch you, Barry. No hard feelings, eh? Ah! He's eating Banty! Launch the lifeboat! Abandon ship! Women, children, and kings first! Oh, Bounty! Hello, everyone. The chips are ready. Where's the fish? <laughs> oh, what's going on? Big Bad Barry is eating Bounty. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, dear. Do you think Barry would like some chips with that? I think he's full. Alas, poor Bunty. I knew her well. Right. What should we have for dinner, then? I think I'd like fish fingers. With chips! <laughs> 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 <laughs>